evening church and if you see the time is now please let us pray father in the name of Jesus we thank you we thank you for yet another Wednesday another day that you have given unto us that we should come and sit at your your feet and learn from you learn from you this month we have we, we have learned we continue to learn about discipleship. We, we believe that so far we have learned something from it. And even as we are coming to continue today as well, Father, we are asking that may, may whatever it is that we are going to uh, learn today also be a blessing unto many. The whole idea of this month is that we, as we are following you, being disciples of you, we will learn of you and we will also exhibit what it is that we have learned of you being love in action. So Father, may we not just be people who are only seeing and hearing, but indeed we shall put into practice what we have learned over, over the last three weeks, including today. We thank you, Father. We ask that you take absolute control over every aspect of tonight's service. May every part of it be a blessing unto others that indeed you will meet us at the point of, at the point of our very need. This is what we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. My name is Daniel Kumsin, and I will be your service leader for today. Today, in fact, this, this whole month, we have looked at the topic discipleship, the very thing that is on the heart of Jesus. And we have looked at it in a way that uh, we say the love in action, everything love in action from, from, from discipleship. And we have looked at testimonies of people whose life, lives have been touched by individuals in the church. We have looked at drama that exhibits how Jesus loved us so much that he died for us, that we ourselves too must also go the extra mile to also dying for our fellow men. Last week we looked at um, we, we, we looked at see and hear, love in action, explanation as to what it means to actually love with all our senses. 
And, and this week, it's amazing. This week, we are actually going down to the people who need us. There, there, there was a point in time where Jesus gave the uh, parable as to how people were good to him. And the whole thing was that he said, even as you did for someone, you had done for me. And it was a mystery to the people. They didn't understand how they, they, they were able to help Jesus. But when Jesus explained to them that when they had reached out to people who are in need, they had actually reached out to him. So from this, a, a, um, a group, one of the, one of the groups that, are, that is undergoing discipleship training at Manet actually undertook a project. And the project was to reach out to two families who are in need of financial support at the Bachana kiosk ministry. They reached out to the people. They prayed, they prayed with them, they, they, they fellowship with them, and then they also gave them uh, provisions and other financial support. So it was, they didn't just visit, they visited, they, they, they shared a word with them, and they also gave to their needs. So this is what we are coming to, to as it were, um, look, uh, see, this uh, evening love in real action love in real action if you have talked about it if you have heard of it if you have seen a drama of it testimony about it but this one we are seeing it as it happens so that we ourselves too will be able to then as a bit same uh, to the people around us starting from where we 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 are The theme for this month's Unreal C session is discipleship portrayed through love in action. It was therefore decided that all discipleship training groups come up with a project to show how their group manifests love in action. DT Peace Group at Manet met and decided to organize a short, indirect financial intervention or support through the Bachuna Children's Ministry at Manet. We contacted Sister Amba Sego who welcomed our initiative and gave us a detailed briefing on the needs of two severely distressed families whose young ones attend the ministry's programs regularly. It was made clear that the one that one of the two families, Jonathan and McCaffrey Mensa and siblings, were living with an elderly grandmother and were often left on their own and seriously needed special intervention. The ministry has contacted social welfare, welfare who had visited the family. So while awaiting their evaluation, we decided to offer them short-term relief. We were advised not to give cash since the grandmother could not effectively manage it.
rise to our feet wherever you are. Jesus, he. Jesus, he. Jesus, he. His love endures. Let all creation join to sing. Yes, yes, The second family made up of a widow and three children, two girls and a boy, were our next target. The father had recently passed, and after the funeral in the hometown, the children had returned with various levels of ill health. The little boy was admitted and was transfused. He has been discharged and is getting better. The mother sells and is doing her best to keep her family together. We as a group contributed a total of 1,400 CDs and bought and packed an assortment of foodstuffs and sanitary items for each family. The parcels included two five kilo bags of rice each, cooking oil, tomato paste, Indomie noodles, tin fish, gari, milo, tea, sugar, milk, and assorted biscuits. We also added detergent washing soap, toilet soap, and a pack of toilet rolls. The second presentation was to widow Yemsi Yaya and her three children. Her husband had died suddenly at the age of 45, just a couple of months ago. These children are really benefiting from the ministry and the mother was beside herself with gratitude for all that the ministry was doing. She was also very happy with our gesture to, that we did in the presentation. Jesus, 
In addition to the foodstuffs, an amount of 400 CDs was given to the mother to put into her business to cater for the family. A group which gathered at the presentation were so moved by what they saw that they promised to visit the church very soon. We are really grateful that we could, by the grace of God, come together at such a short notice to demonstrate love in action. We gave 100 CDs to Francis as thank you. Okay, sing, sing. We had yes. asked for a day off from work in order to guide us to the places. The delegation <coughs> was really moved by the predicament of these precious souls and will continue to pray to be able to, to do more and to be led by the Spirit to do more for these families as the Lord gives us strength. Father, we thank you for the discipleship training class, peace class, DT Peace group that made this oh god available because you touched our hearts oh god father we give you the glory we give you honor we give you praise in the same vein oh god we know you have touched the hearts of this family oh god and oh god the men that are here to support oh god father be their guide be their god oh god provide their very needs oh god teach their teach them oh god to walk according to thy way father for your way alone is the truth the life of God, and we pray that their hearts will be melted according to you, Christ Jesus. Father, lead us to God. May your name be glorified for these numerous gifts you've given to the family, and may they be blessed. May, O oh God, the departed soul of God, of a husband, of a father of God, rest in your bosom. Father of God, I pray that you shall of God be their protection in these days of God. You will keep you will permit of God according to your grace. Let them walk of God according to your grace of God. And Father, bless each and every one of us For you alone has made this possible. And to you therefore be glory, honor, and praise. We thank you and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So you bear, you bear with me that this is real, practical love in action. Real love in action. When Jesus said 
in as much as you reached out to the needy, the person in the prison, the person who doesn't have something to eat, the person who doesn't have something to wear, we should not just speak the word and then say that go home and be well, but we should also meet their necessary need. So this is practical. This is practical. Let us all take a cue from this and lend a helping hand to people in need. Especially in these times when people are in dire need because of the, the, the challenges that COVID-19 has brought. I think it's, it, it's a perfect timing for us to be looking at discipleship, love in action. So I have taken my part from the video and I pray that God be my helper. I will go and do likewise, just as Jesus told us to do. And above all, when James said that if we have faith and we do not have works, it will be, it will be better for us to have the works so that our faith will be exhibited through our works. Kindly let us take note of this. If you have been with a carry church even for one year, by this time you will, you will know that July is our prayer and fasting month. This is where we, we seek the face of God in the matters of family, in the matters of the church, and in the matters of the nation and then the world at large. So I will urge you all to be, to be involved. And next month is just tomorrow, which is 1st July. 1st July. And the theme for the prayer month this, this, this year is partnership in prayer for faith, love, and hope. Partnership in prayer for faith, love, and hope. And our main test is taken from 1 Thessalonians 1, 3. In fact, it will be very prudent for all of us to read the whole of the uh, first Thessalonians one, so that we will get to know the context of where the team is coming is coming from. They will be um, gathering for twelve in the afternoon and then in the evening. So the church will be opened up for in in person and then Zoom as well. So we are we are combining the two both here at Rage and then Manet, do not be left out. We are in a time where we, we need prayer and we need to seek the face of God, especially in the direction as to where God wants us to go in the area of faith, in the area of love, and in the area of hope. These three things remain. These three things remain. Love, faith, and hope love faith and hope so kindly let us pray let us pray father in the name of jesus we thank you we thank you once again for the opportunity to be able to share your word the opportunity to even show this video father some of us we need we needed to see things like this to showing that it doesn't really matter as to so much what we have and what what is the willingness that we want to uh, do good but as much as to get down to the doing of the good that we will show forth our faith in you that we will know that yes indeed we are your disciples it is said when we when we do right things this shows that indeed we are your disciples so father even as we have seen this and even as you have created in us the desire to, to doing good, the desire to reach out, Father. We ask that you help us with the grace. Help us with the grace. Help us with the grace. Above all, let us be willing. Let us be willing and be so much inclined to the, the, the spirit leading that indeed we will not look on for, for, for people who are in need not to get help. Father, use us as instrument. Use us as instrument of honor, O oh Lord, that indeed we will reach out we will reach out in any form that we will reach out in any form that we will reach out if it ha if it comes to speaking the word let us speak if it comes to giving let us give if it comes to serving let us serve we thank you oh lord for teaching us over this over this um 
in, in, in this course of the, the month that indeed it is not just enough to be disciples but we should love in action we should love in action we thank you father for how far you brought us and then the father you've promised that you will take us in the name of jesus amen let us now receive benediction now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power which is at work within us to him be glory in the church and in christ jesus throughout all generations forever and ever Go in peace with the blessing of God, and the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God the Father and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. So, thank you for having me come into your homes this evening and stay blessed as always. Bye-bye.